Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> God. <laughs> What's with the three hellos? <laughs> That's <urban. laughs> Um This is the Go On podcast with my best buddy, Harry Simpson, up in London. Uh, if you didn't see the intro, which you obviously would have done because before this little segment, the idea behind this is to capture current people in, in real time. Real time and current current people, not raisin people. Uh, yeah, as I truly believe that I have the best conversations with just normal people, uh, like, like Harry Simpson himself. We've had some deep questions and conversations in our time, mate. Yeah. I also like the sentiment that this is a document. So, like, if I died tomorrow, this would be, you know, that this is what Dan was like. Um, and a tap time capsule, really, on people who matter. Matter to me. Would you believe it? Anyway, we're going to get into some questions. Are you ready, mate? Oh, so ready. All right, first one, which I think is the hardest one. Describe yourself. Mm, that is a hard one. Uh... I mean, I don't know if I want, you want me to describe myself literally or... This is... It's up know, to your... Like emotionally. You can do a bit of both. It's yeah. completely up to you. Um, you know, the stats are... I'm Harry Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> this is a stat at the top that counts. Yeah, it's a stat at the top that counts. I'm Harry Simpson. I'm 25. Virgin. Um, I've got size 10 feet. <laughs> yeah, you know what that means. Yeah. Um... I am a small business owner, uh, a carpenter. Yeah, you are. 24-7 uh, legend. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Nice. Yeah, I um, like it. Yeah, I think that's kind of the uh, basics you need to know about me. What about uh, growing up? Where did you grow up? I have grown up in North Devon my whole life. Uh, I recently moved to London to pursue a business, my business. Would you call yourself an entrepreneur? No. No? It's quite a, quite a vague term, isn't it? I feel like that's a, a title you have to earn. Oh, I see. Maybe. I don't know if I've, don't know if I've done enough yet to um, warrant it. Yeah. Warrant that, yeah. There's time, there's time. Right, now we're going to do like a quick... You could call it an icebreaker, but I don't think we need ice breaking. But overrated or underrated? So you, I'm going to give you something, and you're going to say whether that thing is overrated or underrated. You can't say that is rated fairly. You have to pick can't. a side. I no, can't. you can't. No. <laughs> okay. All right. So the first one is football. Is it overrated or underrated? Underrated. It's a tough one, isn't it? It's a tough one. Pop music. Overrated. Nice. McDonald's. Overrated. Oh, hell kick. Vegan over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, rolled ice cream. Overrated. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fair enough. Fair enough. All right. All right. We're gonna we're gonna move on. Nice. Oh, let's be honest. Be done. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> uh, oh, actually, last one. Um, yeah. someone's appearance. Um, overrated. Yeah, nice. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna get into the juicy parts. Things I, I truly, truly care about. We're gonna go okay. to some more questions, mate. Um, currently at this time of your life, what is the most important thing to you? Uh, my family, my friends. Same thing, really. But oh, it's cute. Yeah, that's no, no, yeah. nothing material or anything like that. Like business, you know, nothing means more to me than the health of my friends and family. You know. Yeah, that's good because that's the thing that doesn't go away, isn't it? Like material things, like you said, are oh, they come and go, don't they? Yeah. What's that? That quote you told me: "If you trade your time for money, you'll never be rich." Yeah. Um... <laughs> I mean, you got your whole life to make money. Yeah, too right, too right. So spending is it spending time with them and all that sort of thing? Well, yeah, yeah, spending time with them, just enjoying them. Nice. Yeah. 
<laughs> you can enjoy me anytime, mate. <laughs> all right, all right, we're gonna move on. Uh, what is the mis the biggest misconception of you? Uh, the biggest misconception of me that I think people have is that I, uh, on the surface, appear to be a bit of a wind up and a piss taker. Mm. But I genuinely care a lot about pretty much everyone that I meet. Yeah, I, I can see that. I think you you also really try and tease or piss off people that you you absolutely love. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you don't do it, you don't do it on our first um first approach first uh what's the word first appearance not first appearance impression that's it you don't yeah. do that on a first impression at all no so yeah that makes sense but yeah you know if it can get a smile or a laugh I think it's worth it because I don't know I don't think people do enough of that yeah to, to absolutely agree and it is funny it is yeah, funny and it's funny. <laughs> yeah, it really makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. Who do you turn to for guidance? Uh, I don't think I turn to one person in particular. I feel like with um, the friends and that I do have at the moment, and you know, I'll have for the rest of my life. Yeah, I, I think between them. Their, enough support their, their support is enough do you yeah. think your your own like, mental state and whatnot is your biggest like bit yeah. of guidance and a lot of my guidance i guess also comes from within yeah yeah i like to you know if something feels right or wrong i kind of trust that gut that i've sort of been raised to have I yeah yeah your moral compass you trust your moral compass yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. so you i guess would you say you like uh your your biggest motivator would you say yeah i don't i don't care about proving other people wrong it's more proving yeah. myself right yeah that's that's a good way to put it do you know what it's not something I, to be fair, I haven't had many people doubt me and say that I can't do something. I think more of those doubts are from myself. So it's kind of self motivated. About bettering my yeah, about bettering myself and you're yeah, you're setting your own bars to your own goals every time. Yeah. Yeah, having you saying not to prove anyone wrong, that's a really good one because you hear it a lot of anyone who thinks they're a motivational speaker or whatever, like prove all the naysayers wrong. Mm. And to be honest, that's a nice way to look at it. I like it, mate. All right now, this one is actually my favourite question. Uh, what technological things blow your mind in our um, current day? You can't honestly, say spaceships. It's like just the internet. And yes. And stuff like that. And AI. I, I suppose AI is probably different to the internet, but the way we leave data impressions on like everything we do. Like if you're scrolling through Facebook or Instagram, it can tell how long you've stopped or like slowed down to look at something, and then it captures that data, and that's a data impression. And you leave like thousands of data impressions a day just from scrolling or like slowing down or like clicking on someone's photo or liking something, and then it just builds up this profile about you that you don't even know about yourself. That's just what the hell? Who thought that's how we're gonna? get data because you're not yeah. clicking anything you're not you're not saying i like this advert or whatever no do you, do you think advertisements work in the sense of like on these on facebook and whatnot because you see loads that you think well i don't want to see that or do you think it's like um, subconscious goes in your brain like that must be a good thing or yeah a lot of it is in your subconscious yeah um i guess advertising must work it must yeah if it's multi-billions it wouldn't be uh sorry data wouldn't be a, a bigger industry than the oil industry now. Oh, did not know that. Worth more than the oil industry, I think. That is absolutely absurd. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know that. Didn't know that. Wow. All right. No. Product. <laughs> that, yeah, true, true. You know your, your field. 
um, outstanding in your field like a scarecrow. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Put that one in. <laughs> Leaving that in. Yeah. Uh, all right, mate. You look great, mate, by the way. You look great. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. better. That's better. Always, always good hair, this boy. All right. Uh, what are the biggest mistakes that you see people make? Um, I think... Uh, the biggest mistake that I see people making is worrying too much about other people's opinions. Ooh. Oh, I like it. Uh, is that because they're trying to live up to something? Yeah, I think it completely misguides their like reality, I suppose, in a way. And they're so busy. Like, imagine you're driving and you're, you know, you're driving in a straight line sort of thing, but you're looking to the side constantly what all these other cars are doing and what's behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of this. You need to be looking and you can fucking crash or, you know, like not be going where you need to be going because you're constantly looking behind or looking at what everyone else is doing. But if you're just looking forward and concentrating and you're like motivated and not worrying what other people are doing, you're going to be um, moving forward. A lot better off doing that. Yeah, it's, I like the analogy, you know, don't look into the past, look into the future. Yeah. And yeah. you see like on Instagram, so many people care about likes and... Yeah, what is it? Sort of shit. And it fucks their head up. You think that's what like depression and stuff stems from? Yeah. Simple as that, isn't it? it? A lot of a lot of it. Studies have shown it. Studies show. Yeah. Especially in um younger people. Mm. Like when we were thirteen, fourteen, we didn't really have Facebook or anything like that. So we no. were just not not like we we're immune to it, but those mm. kids have got such high standards to live up to already. Oh possibly. yeah. That's a very good point. I, I like the idea that we're on the cusp of like, from the industrial age to the information age, where you know we would when we were kids would knock on your door to you know come out and play and whatnot. And now they would send a yeah. message, and it's we our generation is just that little gap in between. But the next generation, it, it's very tough for them. You know what that's going to be like. Yeah. Well, there's a thing called juvenile where the generation before thinks that they're a better generation. And right. That's always always been the case. Yeah. So we're always going to. We gonna... are the better one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we would argue that way. But I feel for them because it's overstimulation, isn't it? You... Yeah. The amount of hours that people spend on their on social media or their phones or whatever. Yeah. I mean, we're culprit to it now because we've adapted to it. Yeah. There's a reason People's why we're doing it. Laptop. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Doing this now. You know? yeah. <laughs> I could have come to London. Yeah, it's a, it's a scary world, but I think that we've lived in the best sort of generation. We've got the technology, but we've also know our, our like you said about moral compass earlier. We've got that from interactions. You can't get that from social media. I don't think no. that will teach bad morals. But I don't. What do I know? All right, next question, my friend. What is the biggest thing that you are struggling with currently? Um, knowing what the right thing to do is. Right. Um, before I, I've always said money isn't important to me, mm. and I still stand by that. It's, that that is true. Um, uh, moving to London was in ultimately a pursuit of money. Yeah. But partly, it didn't feel the right thing to do because. I felt like I should have been at home, like I said, with my friends and family who are the most important thing to me. And I've removed myself completely from that. For money, I guess. For yeah. money, which... So you feel like a hypocrite? Goes, which goes against everything I say. And I do miss my friends and family mm. dearly. Um, and <clears throat> when it's... You know, at the moment, the business isn't doing that well. So it's kind of like, I'm not even getting the money now. I'm just away from everyone. And yeah, but, you know, there's still time. Of course, there's time for it to make money. But that's I think that's the thing I'm struggling with most is, am I doing the right thing? So like guidance, guidance wise, 
you know, if we go back to the question before, am I doing the right thing? The guidance, you know, you need someone to tell you whether you're doing the right thing or not. Yeah. Whether, whether sometimes it comes from within, but you're doubting yourself within or whatnot. Yeah. Which understand what these struggles in life build character, don't they? Yeah. But, um, so if you've gone away to make this money and build a business that ultimately your friends and family will be super proud of, whether it succeeds or not, I think having the stab, having a go at it is impressive in yeah. itself. But don't you think that, you know, like looking after number one yourself, if you're, if you're, we'll get to success in a minute, how you would define that. But if you succeed and you make this money, then you can look after your friends and family just that little bit more using the money as an aid. So there is, yeah. that takes away from being hypocritical. You're, you're yeah. doing A to, to then look after the rest. Yeah. I mean, what I would say to that is that, I don't think I need money to mm, good point. care to mm. friends and family because I think, well, I know that you can care for someone mm. better emotionally than you can financially. That's a very good point. Cool, you're levels above me, man, because I just want a tenner, <laughs> mate. <laughs> you know, that makes a good point. That makes a good point. But don't you think that money makes it a little bit easier, you know, because... Well, that quote you told me earlier, if you trade your time for money, you'll never be rich. But having money does seem to enable you to have a bit more time. Um, or does it? Does it? I don't know. I don't know. With more money comes more problems, mate. More responsibilities. Yeah, that's a very good point. That's a very good point. I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot right here. Yeah. Changing my... um. There's so many different ways to look at just a, a simple part of life, isn't there? So yeah. So many different ways. But this one is a bit more positive. What are you most excited about? Um, this could be in life. It could be anything specific. So ending this podcast. <laughs> getting out of this. Uh, <laughs> what I, I, I think um, getting to meet my nephew for the first time. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's quite exciting. Um That'll be, yeah. Yeah, that's... Um, I'm excited to see my dogs and my cats again. <laughs> I'm excited to go to the beach. Oh, yeah, they must be missing that. Weather uh, here has been time. lovely. Weather at the moment is fucking perfect. It is, mate. Yeah, I'm in sweaty London that stinks of piss. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to be at the beach. Are these pubs are open. That is true. That's... That's one saving grace. I'm off to the big sheep later. Looking forward to the Euros as well. That should be good. Same. Do you think England stand a chance? No. That's no, same. France got it all day. Want, I just want to see one goal while I'm in the pub and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, next question. If you could go back and give yourself some advice, what would it be? Don't know whether you want a time frame on it or not, but you have a thing. Um, I knew this question was coming. Um, I ask it a lot. I ask yeah, it to a lot of people. I thought about it a lot last night. Um, and I thought, what? I was thinking of something really profound and... <laughs> like really wise. Wise. Philosophical. Like, um, you know, don't sweat the small stuff. Or something like that. But, <laughs> Just don't sweat. Yeah, don't sweat. Just stop Just sweating. Smells. It's so hot. No. Um, it was... And not... Uh, particularly a great life lesson or anything but it would be learn to play golf right uh was not expecting that i simply because i went to the driving range with my dad once who yeah as you know passed away um and he wanted me to get some golf lessons yeah <clears throat> and i didn't want to <clears throat> and you regret it yeah dude because you just wanted to play golf with me yeah it's that it's that time together right? just life gets in the way doesn't it yeah and um Oh man. Never had that. No. 
never had that chance. Yeah. So that would be my advice to myself. That's smart. That makes a lot of sense, mate. Yeah. You take a minute, man. That's... Yeah. That is heavy. Well, I appreciate that. That makes it complete. So you can't argue it. You can't expand from it. All I would say is, it doesn't make you want to play golf now. <laughs> no, because it wouldn't be the same, would it? Wouldn't be right. No. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you hero. Okay. Last question then, Mr. Simpson. Been a pleasure. If you had one message for the entire world, what would it be? Um, get out of your comfort zone. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, get out of your comfort zone. Learn an art, whether that's drawing, music, singing, dancing, something expressive. Yeah. Um, something to express yourself sort of thing, yeah? Yeah. I like that a lot. People do sit in their comfort zones because it's too easy, isn't it? It's too easy to work the normal job, come over, sit and watch TV, and do, r rinse and repeat. That's yeah. another reason why we're doing this episode is because, well, as I said at the start, if you died tomorrow, how would you want to be remembered? You wouldn't want that just to be, oh, I've got five Facebook pictures and this is my life. Yeah. Or, or even the, your social media depicting your life of how you are. That's why I'm yeah. doing this in a video format instead of just an audio that makes sense. Yeah, that's the idea. If you go one mess the entire world, get out of your comfort zone. Go do yeah. something, right? Yeah. Get out there and live it and love it. Do some good. Do some good in the world. Like uh, treat others how you want to be treated. Oh, it's not even. Well, I mean, that's. That's just respect. Important, I suppose. Yeah. It's, just it's a moral. Respect, it? What What I meant to say was what my year four teacher taught me. He. Uh, he said, Dan, do whatever you want in the world as long as it doesn't harm anyone else. I thought that yeah. was... That's, you can't go wrong with that, can you? No, that's true. That means you can do a lot of things. All right, mate, that has been an absolute pleasure. I'm going to spend about 10 hours editing that up. Um, if anyone wants to do just like Harry Simpson just did, answers these questions, maybe slightly different ones, uh, get in touch, leave me a comment, drop me a message. You know where I am. I'm always here. Harry, that has been an absolute pleasure. Thanks, mate. Thank you. I will see you very soon and yeah. chat to you very soon. All right? Bye. See you later, mate. Bye.